Today, I am going to teach you how to assemble a pinwheel. So, you might be making a pinwheel for Pinwheels for Peas, and this is the template that you get for Pinwheels for Peas. And what you need to do is cut out the square part. So, I have a pre cut square already here that we're going to assemble into a pinwheel. Plan your design on your pinwheel and here's just a quick example of a pinwheel I um, mean you can see when you look at it that there are designs in every other space sorry it's hard to kind of see um, and then when you flip these over they have a little bit of color on them um, so that the whole front is covered color. Um, so that's an example there and here's another example as well so I am just kind of reviewing uh, where you're gonna be putting the designs so that you don't draw all over this and then end up not seeing the parts that get folded over all right so assembling it you have your square that looks like this and you have these lines here. They might be illustrated here. And you only want to cut to the end of this mark. You do not want to cut any farther. If you cut all the way to the middle, the whole thing will fall apart. So you will cut out a square, and then you will cut in part way. Uh, two things you're going to need for this are a pencil and a tack. Um, you could do a couple of staples to make it into a pinwheel design. Um, you won't be able to spin it like a pinwheel, but you'll be able to put it together. You're going to do it with the pin and the pencil. Uh, so what you need to do is you're going to take your pin and you're going to take it and you're going to pierce it through um, the back of your square. And then you're going to leave this point alone. And you're going to take this point, you're going to turn it in, and you're going to have to um, push the tack through it. So you're going to have to be careful because you don't want to poke your fingers. Um, but you are going to need to poke holes. So you're going to leave that point alone. You're going to turn this one in, and you're going to put that underneath. And then we have one more left. All right, and it is a little tricky because you are going to have to tuck it underneath. Um, and then you're going to poke it through. So now I have all of them tacked together. And then I'm actually going to push them through the back. So now through the back and I'm going to take the pencil. I'm going to pierce the eraser. Careful, I'm using my finger behind it, trying to be careful not to stab my finger. And then I now have my pinwheel. Alrighty, so every other gets folded in and tacked. Alrighty, so you could also, another option is put it together like this, and then you can color it, and you can easily see where you can color it is also an option. So enjoy. I hope you have fun making pinwheels.